All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to Pokemon Sword. Picking up right where we left off. We are here in Hammerlock. Do I have to go to the center? I do. Hopefully I can get over there without it triggering the cutscene that's waiting for me right there. And I can. So we went through the wild area. We caught a bunch of Pokemon. We caught a Machamp or Machoke. We caught a Machoke, which I'm pretty stoked about. I still don't know what type of... Um, Pokemon the gym leader in this town um, has. So we'll have to figure that out before we start building our team. But for now, let's go get this cutscene action. Mr. Chairman, I've been collecting both wishing stars and gym badges as fast as I can. Good work, BD. I'm glad you haven't forgotten that it was the chairman who endorsed you. If I gather enough wishing stars, that'll help solve the problem that's been bothering you, right, Mr. Chairman? Oh, it's not just about me. It's for the future of the whole Galar region. And we'll need more than just wishing stars. We need a powerful Pokemon trainer too. Someone like the champion. With all due respect, sir, I was able to show Hop, one of the champion endorsed trainers, just how outclassed he was. I'm sure I'll be able to defeat the champion. No, I will defeat the champion. That's the spirit. It takes healthy competition to really keep the gym challenge energized. Challenger BD, there was something I wish to discuss with you. Do you have a moment? Look at this, look how these guys dressed. What a dork. I hope you were listening, Scott. As you know, wishing stars are those mysterious stones that are even attached to your Dynamax band. There's more to wishing stars than just making your Pokemon into giants, though. They hold far more energy than that. If you're curious, you should head to the stadium. In fact, we should head inside right away. I'll even give you a little lesson on how the Galar region gets its energy. Oh, great. That sounds like a lot of reading for me. Um, okay. Let's explore a bit first. Welcome to this ancient city of Hammerlock. A city of great history, living and thriving within the castle walls that date back to the Middle Ages. Can we go in here? Yeah, we can, but it's just going to be nothing. Looks like we got a little market over here. Oh, it's the train station. Ooh, what's this dude? Today's meal is even better than yesterday's. That's it? I can't buy anything from you? Alright, what are you? All right, useless dialogue, what are you? Useless dialogue, what are you? Oh, more items. This Oh, it is a Pokemart. Still no Ultra Ball, though. No, I guess that's it. Vending machines, are these usable? Um, let's grab some lemonade. A can of lemonade came out. Buy more. It's got like five of these. I think they work like potions. That's three. I lost count. That was five, right? And then this one with the food just doesn't work. Okay. So that's the Hammerlock train station. Oh, Team Yell's here. Can't you see we're practicing our cheers here? All right, so we can't go that way. It's blocked until, I assume, after we finish the uh, the gym battle. What is going on here? Uh, we can't go in there. We did find a pair of wise glasses. This thick pair of glasses slightly boosts the power of special moves. All right. Can we go into any of this? No. Hey, I'm rare candy. Man, hold up one sec, guys. It is hot as all hell in my room right now. <clears throat> I'm ditching the sweater. Uh, strawberry sweet. When a uh, milsery holds this, it will spin around happily. Alrighty.
I assume straight ahead is how we get to the stadium, but let's see what's over here first. Ah, the shops. Whoops, I just wanted to get off my bike. There we go. What you got? Uh, I need some new shoes, man. No shoes? Oh, we got caps, though. I want one. Bucket hats. Okay, yeah, let's see. Um, fire type looks dope. Let's buy it. Five grand. Holy cow. Yeah, put that shit on. Tight. I love that. All right. What's in here? Welcome to the Battle Cafe. Oh, that's right, I forgot about these things. Oh uh, yeah, let's battle. I think he gives us... I can't remember what we got the first time we did one of these. Wow, just some very pastry looking Pokemon. Oh, uh, let's magically this one. And let's pluck this one. Let's go for the ones in front of them. Holy cow. Level 37. Thwacky fell in love. I don't know what that does. Play rough? That's weird. Um, we are super underleveled for this. Let's try slam, see what it does. And Pluck didn't do much, so let's try Fury Attack. Oh, it's super annoying. Holy crap! I just wanted to get an item really quickly. That's insane. Um, okay. Use magically, but use it on this one, because we're in love with the other one, apparently. Bye bye, Thwacky. It was nice knowing ya. Hmm. Alright. We haven't used this guy in battle yet. Sudo Woodoo. Sudo Woodoo. I don't know how to fucking say it. It's hard. Let's try Rock Tomb. On this one, sure. And another waterfall on this one. Holy crap, dude. Stay alive, stay alive, stay alive, yes. Um, I don't think either of these attacks are getting through, but we gotta try anyway. Yeah. Bye-bye, Gyarados! We're in a little bit of trouble here. Okay. We're down to two. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> All 
All right, first time using Lipard. I think we're gonna lose. Yeah, that was pretty terrible. Alright, we're down to one Pokemon. We're boned. Um, let's get the wacky back up. I think that's the end of Carcoal. Yep. I think we're dead right here. It depends what the other one uses. We're super close here. Let it get me to 67. Is that even worth it? What is the lemonade that I got do? Oh, I can't even use it in battle, eh? Oh, maybe I can. It's a super potion equivalent. Okay. I think we just won. We did. Unless he has more Pokemon. He doesn't, does he? Alright, the Wacky is three away from evolving, I think. I'm pretty sure. So that was an insane battle. 4-4-4-0 four, 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 oh for winning. A Clover Sweet. That's all we got for that? Wow, that was useless. Thanks for nothing, sir. And this is just the haircut place, right? Yeah, we don't need this. Get me out of here. What else is over here? Oh, there's an item there. Two Hyper Potions. Nice. 120 HP. And this is probably leaving Hammerlock, right? Oh, well, there's a Pokemon Center here, though. Alright, heal my boys. They're in rough shape. Thank you very much. Alright, and now we're broke as hell again. What does this dude sell again? Oh, TMs. Yeah, don't need them. I saw an item over here, yeah. The Vault and Hammerlock, interesting. Little battle area here. Alright, oh wait, item, item, item! Muscle band. This had been exude strength, slightly boosting the power of physical moves. Alright. I really gotta start attaching items to all my Pokemon. Maybe we'll work on that before we take on the uh, the gym leader here. Who I, I still don't know what kind of Pokemon he uses. I want to build my team.
Hammerlock Stadium doubles as an energy plant. Now have a look at my tablet. I've got all the information you need on it. See an easy to understand depiction of the energy plant. First energy, energy is absorbed from Hammerlock Stadium's tower, then it's changed into electricity in the underground power plant and delivered to people throughout the region. Our lives and society require various types of energy resources, such as electricity, natural gas, and water. My associate group aims to improve everyone's lives by harnessing the power stored in wishing stars. Oh, it's time for me to get to work. I should get a move on before Olina decides to give me another earful. Scott, I suggest you head over to the vault next. Just head toward Route 6 from the stadium and you should find the vault without any issues. We were just there. Uh, what's happening here? Ah, oh, it's a Pokemart. Don't need anything, though. How about you? Nope. Uniform shop. I'm done shopping. So I guess this guy's the electric gym? Is that why it's all about energy and stuff? Sorry, my hair's driving me crazy. Gotta get it out of my damn face. <clears throat> Alright, on we go. Oh god, Leon. Scott, seems you're doing well collecting gym badges. But Hop, did something happen with him? He was acting really odd when I ran into him. He took one look at me and immediately was like, I'm so sorry, Lee. It might be the first time I've heard him apologize for anything, and I have no idea what it was for. Maybe he's feeling down because he had some hard losses in battle. He lost a beady. When you lose, you feel down in the dumps. But then there's nowhere left to go but back up. You've got to think on why it was on why it was you lost, though. You know that little brother of mine, I think he might yet become a surprisingly great trainer. Blast, and look at the time. Nearly forgot my meeting with the chairman. That Alina really lets me hear it when I'm late. Now only if I could remember which way to go. Anyway, I'd say that you should go and say hello to Rayhan while you're here, Scott. He's the greatest rival I've got and the final hurdle you'll have to face in the gym challenge. He should still be around the vault if you hurry. It's down that way, on the way to Route 6. Alright. Whoa, look at this dude. <clears throat> oh, but isn't the trainer endorsed by the champion? Let's see, what was your name again? Ah, right, Scott. And if Leon himself recognized your potential, then I guess you'll grow into quite the trainer. All the same though, anyone wanting to challenge the mighty Rayhan has to prove that they're up to it by earning seven gym badges first. I already knew that. Ah, so you're here to see our treasures, are you? Getting a better understanding of Pokemon by studying history certainly isn't a bad idea. I like your spirit, kid. Follow me, why don't you? Alright. I'll even spare you one of my League cards. Thanks, bud. You put the League card in your album. Now on you go. If it's the vault you want, it's up those stairs there. Alright, let's go. I see an item. Alright, charm. Uh, the user gazes at the target rather charmingly, making it less wary. This harshly lowers the target's attack stat. Oh god. Gotta talk to Sonya again. <sighs> Deep breaths. Oh, you're here. Brilliant, aren't they? It's great that there are still treasured tapestries that can tell us of Galar's history. The two youths watching a wishing star. A disaster occurs. The two bewildered youths. The youths looking on at the sword and shield that stop... That stopped the disaster? I think that should say stopped. The youths being crowned. 
These tapestries tell the story of the creation of a kingdom in Galar. 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 Say, young gym challenger, what sticks out to you the most about them? Uh, there's two heroes. Bang on! The statue at that hotel in Motostoke only had one hero. No matter how you slice it. But here, we clearly have two youths. Was there really only one hero, or were there two? And what even caused the darkest day? Thanks for letting me bounce some ideas off you. I think I've got some theories now. I'm going to research the tapestries a tad more. But you have your gym challenge, right? I'm cheering for you, so take a couple of these. I hope to see more of your wins. Alright, revives. Uh, what's our objective say now? I already did head for the Hammerlock Vault. Was there more for me to do in there? Maybe once we leave, the objective will um, update. This guy again, eh? The tapestries in the vault depict the heroes of the Galar region's past. I suppose if we've got any modern hero, it'd have to be our champion, Leon. Listen up, Scott. Your goal is to defeat that superstar, Leon. So go conquer Route 6 and train yourself up along the way to Stow on side. Am I not fighting the gym leader here? Let me go back to the gym real, just real quick. Thanks to the bicycle. And our atrociously ugly uniform for it. Maybe we gotta come back here and do this gym in a different order. What happens if I talk to this guy? If you wanna face right hand, okay, so this is, we come back here. I got it. So this is this is the last one before um, before we face Leon. Um, man, that's a short episode, but I guess we gotta stop it there. Or do we do Route Six? I guess we're doing Route Six. Let me hop into this in the Pokemon Center real quick. I keep pressing the wrong button over and over again. Just let me in. I want to do something real quick. It doesn't matter at all, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Um, yeah, there we go. All our new clothing. And... So there's our card. Looking pretty sharp, if I do say so myself. Uh, two cans of curry, because we haven't really done that. 61 Pokemon in the Pokedex. We've caught 57 of them. No shiny Pokemon found. I still don't really know what that means. And rally best score, I also don't know what that means. And then we can go into the album. We got stupid BDs. Uh, you can't you can't flip these ones. There's Rayhans, Kabus. Hey, they autographed them for us. That's sick. Nessa, Milo, Hop, and Leon. Cool little feature. I still need to get black shoes, but we spent so much money. All right, let's head to Route 6. We've been doing longer episodes lately anyway. I think it makes sense. I wonder what we can catch out here. All right, we're on Route 6. What the hell is still inside? Is it a town or... Man, look at the size of this place. We still have a lot to do. Anyway, let's see what we can catch out here. Whoa! Here's team, y'all. What a cute silly cobra. Just look at those adorable eyes. It's our duty as Team Yell to make sure Scylla Cobra gets a nice, peaceful sleep. Whoa, who is this old lady? Hello there. 
If I promise not to wake the Pokemon, will you let me through? Of course, it'd be our pleasure. Hey, it's our old buddy Hop. Oh, hey, Scott. You're heading to Stow on side, right? Oi, Team Yell, don't suppose you'll let us through. Nah, you kids are way too loud. Can't be letting you through. And we're practically... Sorry, we're particularly not fond of kids wearing the challenge band. With all your stomping around, silly Cobra is sure to wake up. Right. What do you say, Scott? If we don't get past them, we won't be able to continue our gym challenge at Stow on side. All about them. That is the spirit. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah, they don't want to wake the thing. We get it. Blah, blah, blah. Let's battle. I'm starting to lose my patience with the no voice acting, in case you haven't noticed. You are challenged by the Team Yell Grunt. And he's sending out a stupid skunk. Oh, it's not very effective. I didn't read that until it was too late. It's a little lot of damage for a not very effective move. Let's use Slam. Aw, oh, come on. Yeah, we're like out in the desert right now. Look at this. Oh, come on. Ah, did the trick. Listen to these guitar solos going, man. Hey, my boy Corvus Squire. He's got to have a third evolution, right? He's like the Pidgey equivalent. Man, being weak to poison is annoying. I probably should have switched Pokemon. We're gonna. Let's uh have our Corvus Squire have a little shot at him. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Attack fell. Not great. Let's use Fury Attack. Once. Twice. Go for all five. Come on. Only two? Alright. Yeah, my boy Cobra Squire kind of sucks. I've been keeping him in the party because he looks really cool and I want to see him evolve, but... He's not exactly good. Let's try Fury Attack again. If it hits more than twice, it should finish him off. Oh! Never mind. Let's give this thing a shot again. Come on, man. Once. Twice. Okay. <clears throat> Holy cow. Was that super effective? Nope. Just regular? Okay. Okay. It doesn't matter. He's dead. God. Twenty-four hundo. That's it. I'll leave this to you, Scott. Keep up the pace. Yeah, thanks.
Who's going out first? My super weak Thwacky? Alright, right out the bat, we got a waste to move. Healing up. Oh, we're also still poisoned. Great. That poison damage is going to do more damage than that entire attack did. Yeah. That's more like it. There we go. So we're starting to be like borderline under leveled for these trainer battles. Alright. We took care of Team Yell yet again. Are we gonna have a chance to catch this Cobra thing or what's the point of the Cobra? Scott, you and Thwacky were brilliant together. I know. See, BD really wiped the floor with me the last time we battled. And don't get me wrong, I could take a loss. Battling means you've got to lose sometimes. But he said that I was dragging Lee's good name through the mud, being so rubbish like I was. BD is a dude? I didn't know that. And I just can't get these those words out of my head. If I'm weak, then people will think Lee's weak too. But I don't want that. I can't let Lee get dragged down. He's the unbeatable champion. I'm gonna have to take some time figuring this out. See you around, Scott. And this is gonna slink away. Will it be available for us to catch? Oh my god, more talking. You're one of the gym challengers endorsed by Leon, aren't you? Ah! My name's Opal. If you want to know more, have a look at my league card. You got Opal's league card? I'll keep an eye on you, child. I want to see what you can do when you go all out. Is she the next gym leader? She seems very old and frail. She wasn't at the stadium in the opening ceremony, but they did say there was one missing. Yeah, it must be. There's no info, though. Alright. We gotta go hit a Pokemon Center, unfortunately. That battle left us a little bit ragged. go to route six. And we're back. <clears throat> A trainer right off the bat. Let's go. My super cute Pokemon is interested in your Pokemon. Beauty Anita. And starting us out with a Clefairy. Level 29. Does that put me to sleep? 
Or just sing. Sing puts me to sleep, right? Yeah. I don't know if I have any awakenings. Bye bye, Clefairy. <laughs> Alright, so the Woodoo leveled up, so did Lipard. Uh, Clefable. Let's give Thwacky a shot at it. What are fairy Pokemon weak to? I do not know the answer. Triple kick. Hey, we avoided it. The nice thing about Magic Leaf is that it does not miss. No! And to sleep we go. Do I have an awakening? I do, whoops. Only one though. Don't be sing again. Don't you, you sing again. Ooh, that's gonna be super effective though. It's a bird. A bird attack. All right, one more. Fairy wind. I don't know. That right, did a lot of damage. We got him. Thwacky leveled up. Two away from evolving. 28 hundo. Boom. Wait, I gotta do it. I'm sorry, it drives me nuts. There we go. Let's see what this thing is. A wild Yamask. I'm sure it's Yamask or something like that, but Yamask sounds so much better. Let's magic leave and see what happens. So he's rock type. Let's see if we can get him. Come on. Hey! That was quick and easy. What are you? Ground and Ghost. Interesting. No nickname needed. Go to a box. Um, yeah. I like the look of this thing. Maractus, that's a cool name. All right, this is obviously a grass Pokemon, so don't use a grass move. Come on. Not bad. Man. Is it gonna gain health back from that? Yeah. You know, let's just use Magic Leaf anyway. 
Did about the same. <clears throat> um, it might not be low enough, but let's try. Got it. Alright, we now own a Pokemon called Maractus. Yep, just a straight grass type. So that's a that's a dig trio, isn't it? Oh, sorry, Doug Trio. We already have a Diglett, but... What level is it? 32? I think we can get away with hitting it with a Grass Attack without one-hit KOing it. Holy crap, that did a lot of damage. Nope, we can't. <laughs> Alright, Gyarados leveled up. And so did Karkul. All right, we don't need uh, we don't need him. We already have um, we already have a Diglett. No, don't use the Hyper Potion. Use Lemonade. This area looks like it might be confusing. Magikarp, come on, man. What a waste of time. Damn right we got away safely. So there's nothing worthwhile up there at all. Ultra Balls! Nice! We got three of them. I'm just trying to find out where to go, man. Hey, it's the stupid snake. Let's try and catch it. <clears throat> that worked pretty well. Oh, he's, he's a rock type? Try the old Great Ball. Got him! Thwacky level up again, baby. We're so close to evolving him. <clears throat> oh, right now! What? Thwacky's evolving! Holy Christ. Your Thwacky evolved into a Rillaboom. Love it. That's sick, man. Do we get a new move? By drumming, it taps into the power of its special tree stump. The roots of the stump follow its direction in battle. Let's learn drum beating. Hell yeah. Let's see what it does. The user plays its drum, controlling the drum's roots to attack the target. This also lowers the target's speed. Um, let's get rid of Slam. It's terrible. And keep Scratch for the reason that I said before. Rillaboom forgot Slam and it learned drum beating instead. That's sick. Oh yeah, we caught something. He's a ground type. All right. Now if we can figure out where the hell we're supposed to go. What's that thing? 
Let's let's check it out. Oh, we've seen this thing before. Did we have it already? All right, we don't have it yet. Let's try out our new move. <laughs> That's sick. Okay, so we came from there. All right, all right, all right. Nope. I do want to catch this thing. We just got to use a less intense attack. Let's try Razor Leaf. Damn! Maybe we gotta use a different Pokemon if we want to do that. Alright, Sudo Woodoo leveled up. Lipard leveled up. You guys are trainers, eh? Bring it on! Battling is important to better understand Pokemon. Time for a checkup. Medical team, eh? Okay. Some Togepi evolution and some weirdo looking thing. We gotta get this stupid friggin' bird out of my number two spot. Very effective, still almost killed his ass. Ancient power! That's a rock attack. Yeah. Yeah, why'd they both go for my bird? Bunch of punks. Let's bring out Karkul. Let's use Ancient Power right back at him. Super effective. Okay, because he's rock and fire, that's why. Alright, I think Riddle Boom's gonna finish this off. Nice. <clears throat> Feed the medical team. I just get so, so, so concerned when I see injured Pokemon. What is real strength? I'm very curious. 7, 440. Another goddamn trainer. All right, let's go. I came from far away to watch the gym challenge. I'd love the opportunity to battle a gym challenger. Glad I could help. My enormous tea is empty. I'm back to the water. Hey, we fought this guy before. We caught one, in fact. I'm keeping using it until we run out. Ooh, we almost one-shot his ass. That did a lot of damage, too.
Got him. Card goal grew to level 30. Twenty-two thirty-two for winning. Alright, I think we're done catching crap right now. I kinda just want to uh get to the next town. What is going on up here? I just wanted the item, man. Oh, we're gonna run. We don't need to deal with these guys. Actually, you know what? It'll be a one-hit a one one hit KO. Let's just grab the XP and go. Uh, pardon me, protective moves like light screen and reflect will be effective longer. Okie dokie. rid of these regular potions. Alright, what's going on up here? Ooh, we're there. Alright, we found Dig. You just want me to camp, right? Oh, no, I'm good. What you? Name's Carolus. I'm researching fossils, huh? Fossils in Galar are broken into top halves and bottom halves for some reason, huh? Strangely, no matter which top and bottom you combine, they can be restored together. Perhaps within this mystery lies the key to understand these combinable Pokemon. Interesting. Alright. Uh, how do I actually get to the town? I guess we're not done after all. Looks like I gotta go this way. And we have another trainer. What's up? A model who's also strong in battle, that's who I am. Okay. You were challenged by Model Nicola. Model Nicola sent out Scruppy. This dude looks water type to me. Hit him with that drum beat. Okay. He's not water type. <clears throat> he is bug type. Um, okay. So close. I knew it would be super effective though. Alright, Cover Squire and Rillaboom both leveled up. I don't know what that is, so let's keep the current Pokemon for now.
Well, let's get Rillaboom back out there. Wait, we just fought this thing. Was it weak to grass? I don't think it was. It looks like it might be rock, though. Uh, it's probably steel. What is strong against steel? Fire, probably? Holy hell, that did a lot of damage. Speed fell, that's not great. Nice. All right, one more. Even if I lose who I am, the trauma Pokemon will never fade. I thought she had one more Pokemon, but she doesn't. Oh my god, one more trainer and then we can be done? Let's go. Pokemon is art too, if you both give it our all. Whatever you say, man. Artist Duncan. Okay, we gotta get... Rillaboom out of there. He's weak to poison. Let's hit him with a drum beat first. See how it goes. It said not very effective, but it's a powerful move. Yeah, we're fine. And the man wastes his only attack he's going to get on Smokescreen. Hit him again. Sudowoodoo is what, fighting? Let's keep out Rillaboom, see how it goes. Oh, it's super effective. We're good to go. Oh, so close to being a one hit. Rock slide. All right, that hurt. Got him. All right, Sudowoodo and Lipar both leveled up. Your moves were beautiful. Oh my, I'm completely fascinated by them. 1984 for winning, ominous. Have we arrived? I see a gym. Nice. Hop's waiting for us right there. Looks like it's the fighting type gym. Um, all right, guys. We're going to heal up and we're going to call it an episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, be sure to drop a comment down below, like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, that's going to do it for this one. I'll see you guys next time for episode number 13.